Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 5. So in today's episode, we're going after Crystal Man. Yeah, Crystal Man. This guy must be worth a lot of money, then. I mean, he's got crystals. But anyways, uh, this stage, you know, surprisingly, I, I went through this stage, well, pretty quickly, actually. And sometimes I can go through the stage, uh, you know, take my time through it and stuff, but... I figured I just want to get through the stage and whatnot, and, uh, yeah, I kind of just, like, you know, do things to get myself through the stage a little bit quicker. For instance, right here, you got all these, uh, falling crystals, and if you use Starman's ability, well, the crystals can be blocked by, uh, the shield, and you can just kind of jump through everything, so, there you go. And look, it's Eddie. Come on, Eddie, give me something nice. I'll just take it to one-up. Alrighty. Anyways, uh, up ahead, uh, there'll be some, uh, there we go, there's those skull guys again that, uh, we saw in Mega Man 4. I guess those are, I don't know, skull joes or whatever? But this time they charge up a crystal and then they shoot it at ya. So, it's not much of a big deal. They're kind of invulnerable, or they're invincible or invulnerable until, uh, well, uh, they shoot that crystal, so. Get out of the way. And then I just use uh, Starman's ability, get through there, and there we go. So there's all the uh, all those uh, falling uh, crystals. And here you just take that, go up here, and there we go. And then you got these guys. They're easily uh, they're easily disposed of. So whoa, yeah, watch out for the shield guys here because uh, they can get right in your way. It's very annoying. And there, well, as you can see down below me, is an E-Tank. Hooray! Free E-Tank. I'll take whatever. Now, in this spot right here, up above, is actually where you can get another M-Tank. But, you can only carry one M-Tank, so it doesn't appear up there, as you can see. But, uh, here, yeah, you got these, uh, mouse, uh, yeah, those mice things. Now here, uh, as soon as you get past this part, go to your left, and did you see it? There we go, I got the V in Mega Man 5. Yeah, and V stands for 5, it's Roman numeral for 5, so... Yeah, we got the 5 in Mega Man 5. Hooray! So, we got one more, uh, letter to get. And, uh, once we get it, we'll get something pretty nice. Probably the, uh, another, uh, good ability in this game, so... And here's Gyroman's ability. As you can see, once you fire it, you can either shoot it up, uh, or make it go up or down. Not that that matters, I'm gonna fight, uh, Crystal Man, uh, with, well, the Mega Buster. And right off the bat, he'll jump up in the air, shoot a bunch of crystals at you, and usually what he tries to do is he keeps jumping up and down, and going slowly towards you. Every once in a while, he'll jump up really high, shoot out those crystals, and sometimes he'll just, uh, stop and take a, you know, cheap shot like that at ya. He's not particularly hard. I'm, like I said, I don't think all the bosses in this uh, game are that hard, but as you can see, we got rid of him. So what do we get out of a uh, beaten Crystal Man? Well, we'll find out pretty soon. Alrighty. And you got... Crystal Eye, which isn't half bad of an ability. Alright, I'm back. And now, finally, the last person. Napalm Man. Yes, and this guy apparently is a weapon expert from what I understand. Yeah, that's one thing uh, you don't want is a weapon expert because, oh, yeah, 
You'd be sitting there going, oh, yeah, that's just a regular pistol. Actually, that's a M44 Magnum, which is a very powerful weapon. Yeah, I don't need to know that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, Napalm Man, uh, apparently the... In uh, certain countries, uh, they actually had to ban this stage and pretty much ban this entire game altogether because, well, of Napalm uh, Man's stage because, well, it's very reminiscent of uh, a war that took place. And uh, Napalm was one of the weapons used in that war and uh, did a lot of damage and killed a lot of people. So I feel sorry for those countries who missed out on this game. I mean, I understand. But uh, and here you got an E-Tank. How do you get it? just simply jump through the hidden uh, passage right there, so that was very simple. So, we got another E-Tank. Hooray! And then here, yeah, we got more uh, water that, well, comes down. There, that was probably one of the most annoying enemies in this game. I think that's like a Helicopter Joe or something like that. Or Chopper Joe or something like that. I, I don't know what their real name is, but it's technically Sniper Joe. And he's in a helicopter, so... Yeah, right there, that's... Yeah, Sniper Joe in a helicopter. Very annoying. And look, it's Eddie again. No, I don't need that, Eddie. Come on, give me something nice. Something nice. Yeah, I'll just take it. I don't care. I could sit there forever and try to get an E-Tank, but I'm not gonna sit there forever and try to get one. Now, these guys, I find them very annoying because you have to hit him precisely between the eyes. And, uh, yeah, they got such a small, you know, head, it's kind of hard to hit them. And then you get to this spot here, and you, as you can see, those are spikes down below there. So that's instant death if you fall into those spikes, and it's very annoying. So I'm trying to be cautious here. As you can see, I'm losing health like crazy. But guys, there's the end right there. So we spilled out Mega Man 5, and what do we get? Well, we get Beat, who's another companion for Mega Man. That was a bird. That's right, you saw a bird come down. And uh, Beat will actually fly around and hit all the enemies and, uh, you know, take them out. But it costs so much uh, points per hit point, so... You know, in one sense, it's a pretty awesome ability. It's probably the best in the game. In another sense, it's pretty costly, so... You gotta use it wisely. Ow! Ah, uh, don't worry, I got this. I, I, I'll totally survive this, guys. I'm not foreshadowing anything. I'm totally gonna survive this. See? I got some health. I'm perfectly fine. Whoa, whoa! Okay, I got this. Yeah, I died. Well, at least now I can kind of start over again. Get rid of this guy really quick by using gravity hold. Yeah, send him to orbit. I don't care. Also, I can actually show this off. Not only is a super arrow a uh, platformer, but you can also use it as a weapon. And it's quite powerful, actually. And uh, I keep failing to hit this guy. And I keep getting hit over and over again by those rockets. But eventually, yeah, there you go. Guy's gone, and I can continue on. We got those guys again. Have I seen those guys before? Seriously, I, I don't think I've ever seen those types of creatures before. I, I really don't know. But uh, now that we know what's coming up, I can, well, hopefully avoid all that stuff. It's crazy rockets. As soon as you uh, dispose of them, yeah, they uh, break up into pieces and stuff. Here, I just take a hit, and I just move on, because I don't want to deal with uh, any more stuff in my way, so... And here, yep, whoa, whoa. And here I get rid of that guy. Now all these pits coming up here will usually have like those weird, like egghead sort of missile, th I don't know what those things are, but yeah, you just gotta be careful when you jump over uh, these pits, cause yeah, they all got those little uh, things coming up, so. But anyways, we made it here to uh, Gravity Man. And here, this is Crystal Eye. As you can see, you shoot it, and then once it hits a wall, it basically splits into, like, three different, uh, types of orbs. Not that I need it, I'm gonna go after, uh, a Napalm Man with just my, uh, Mega Buster, so... Totally got this, guys. Now, usually right off the bat, he'll, uh, launch those, uh, rockets at you. Yikes, I'm taking a lot of damage. Woo! That was close. Don't worry, I totally got this. But, uh... 
Yeah, Napalm Man, usually he'll either uh, try to launch uh, like Napalm Bombs at you, or he'll shoot the rockets at you, and then he'll just... I can't believe I just died to him, and he had a pixel of health left. Jeez! That's like... Oh, that's like rain on your wedding day. Free ride, but you already paid. Goodbyes that you just can't take. Who would have thought? <sighs> Figures. Anyways, we're back at fighting a uh, napalm man, and like I was saying, he'll either launch uh, those napalm balls, uh, those napalm bombs at you, or he'll shoot the rocket thing at you, and it's very annoying. Then he jumps towards you, which, uh, in this case, you kind of want to space yourself out. And there you go, I finally defeat him. Hooray! So, yeah, I can't believe I lost two lives in that uh, entire stage, but hey, we beat all uh, eight Robot Masters, so hooray on that! So what do we get out of uh, beating uh, Napalm Man? We get Napalm Bomb, which is not half bad. But guys, that was all eight robots. And there is Proto Man, and we gotta take him on next time. I'll see you then.